Hi there everyone, Destin Legary here with a quick look at Spider-Man Remastered on the PlayStation 4 Pro and PlayStation 5. I've set up a few scenes that will take a look at the lighting effects like ray tracing side by side, with the PS4 Pro version which does not have ray tracing, the 60 FPS frame rate next to the 30 FPS frame rate, and you'll likely notice general texture improvements throughout. I just got access so this is just a fast graphics comparison to show some impressive key changes. Fisk. Did you take him down yet? No. We're at Fifth Tower, but still waiting on the warrant. Hey, you must run through the demonstration at least once before the Grant Committee arrives. Uh, yes. Sorry. Yes. Dealing with a personal issue. I'll be in soon. Promise. Ugh. Better wrap this up quick than get to my real job. Okay, Yuri. All done. What's happening? Yuri? Yuri! I knew Fisk wouldn't go quietly. Desperate. And he's hitting us with everything he's got. I have to find him and end this. Not yet. We just picked up chatter. They're white. So that was a look at a few differences side by side. On a related note, I recently did a thorough analysis of Spider-Man Miles Morales on the PlayStation 5 versus PS4 with Mike Fitzgerald, the core technology director at Insomniac, who pointed out the following about the Spider-Man remaster during our interview. You'll see this actually if you look at the remaster at some point. You play these cutscenes and there's this new object that is reflecting stuff behind the camera that was never reflected in the game before. So I, I watched the opening cinematic of the Spider-Man remaster a million times, and there's part where a toast pops out of the toaster, right? And you see his toaster and, and the stove behind it, and there's a pot on the stove. And you realize, oh, I can see the reflection of him running around in the room off camera in that pot on the stove. It shows a lot of the, nothing too terrible for us, luckily, but it shows a lot of the tricks you, you use to, you know, construct these cinematics in different areas and stuff's placed slightly differently. You're actually, there's nothing behind this camera in the diary constructed. So that was an interesting challenge. I just wanted to add that context in there. Thank you so much for watching. Keep an eye out for my full performance review. And for all things Spider-Man, keep it right here.